Come on, baby. Don't be stupid. Hey, all right. All right. So we need a navigator. Do you think this opened up since shit happened? Gotta be, right? Eek. Damn it. I hate these controls. They are the worst. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, Anybody home? No. Go away. Go why? Then who are you? Uh, no one. There's no one here. When do you expect someone to be home? Later. Much later. Finish running your wife's errands first. But there's supposed to be a wax show today. No, there isn't. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. The sign out here says there is. Uh, yeah, that. Well, it's cancelled. It's okay. It's me. Me who? <laughs> I'm the plumber. I've come to fix the sink. That ploy won't work. I know why you're here, and you can't have it. What are you talking about? Stop pretending, you greedy old man. You think you can just buy up the old island just because you can insult people? That's not well, me. think again. You can't take my house away from me if you can't get in. I knew I shouldn't have fixed that bridge. There's nobody home. Now go away. Okay, I'll come back later. I'm gonna click it again. It's later. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's me again. Go away. All right, I guess I can't. Oh, God. You were running straight. It was fine. Jesus. Little pig, little pig, let me in. I can't hear that or see that without thinking of, uh... What's his name? From Walking Dead. Negan. Because that was the moment I realized he was doing a caricature of himself. He's like, little pig, little pig, let me in. <laughs> it annoyed the shit out of me. Talk to this navigator. What does he want? We gotta beat him at arm wrestling? Hello again, Mr. Cheese. Yes. You only saw the first season? I'm, st I'm still watching it. I'm, I'm one of those people that like it. But, uh, I also don't expect, like, people compare it, they're like, whoa, you hate Game of Thrones, but you like Walking Dead. I was like, but Game of Thrones, you said there was going to be this big epic conclusion. Walking Dead is just like, I'm trying to survive. Maybe today will be good. Maybe it'll be bad. Maybe somebody will get bit. Maybe they won't. Maybe I'll find a can of beans. I don't know. It doesn't need to be grand and sweeping all the time. <laughs> it's just people surviving, man. Anyhow. Are you sure there's nothing I can do to convince you to navigate my ship to Lucre Island? I'm open to persuasion. What do you have in mind? If I beat you at insult arm wrestling, Will you be my navigator? Hmm, that's an interesting proposition, Threepwood. It is? I mean, of course it is. How about this? If you beat me, I'll be your navigator. Great! But only if you teach me some new insults. Oh. Agreed. Well then, let's see what you've got. Do I remember them from the last time? Uh... Uh, today by myself, 12 people I've beaten. Oh, how appropriate. You fight like a cow. I've got muscles in places you've never even heard of. Oh, it's too bad none of them are in your arms. You're the ugliest creature I've ever seen in my life. Wait, I, I was I read your thing uh, that said the can of beans episode was really good. I agree. Eating it on the on the on the roof and whatnot. 
Uh, from the size of your gut, I guess they were eaten. Today, by myself, 12 people I've eaten. Is this what I've said? I, 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 I didn't uh, listen to from it. From the size of your I made gut, a mistake. I guess they were eaten. Uh, give up now or I'll crush you like a grape. I would if it would stop your whining. Hey, look over there. Hey, look over there. Uh, why? You studying to be a nurse? My oh, crap. forearms have been mistaken for tree trunks. Arms. Uh, and over the counter defoliant could help with that problem. No, there was beans. There was beans when the uh when Carl he went off on his own. He's like, "Oh, I'm a big boy now or whatever." There was a, and at the end he's eating beans on a roof. I'm pretty sure it was beans. Or maybe it was pudding. No, other beans. <laughs> It was something that was good. Not beans. You're right. It was pudding. You can't can a can of beans. I thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah, I didn't actually remember beans. I don't know. Seems like something you'd, you know, find and be happy about. Man, I gotta focus on, on this shit. It's not my time. That was chocolate pudding. Okay. <laughs> Uh, my 98-year-old grandmother has bigger arms than you. Yeah, but we both got better <laughs> bladder control than you do. Your knuckles are grind to a splintery paste. Splintery paste. Oh man, there's a lot. Your knuckles will be to a feathery paste. Uh, I thought that the bean dip had a strange taste. Uh. I've out wrestled octopi with these arms. I'm sure that spineless creatures everywhere are humbled by your might. People consider my fists lethal weapons. Shaking, I'm shaking. What? What did he say? <laughs> Lethal weapons. Sadly, your breath should be equally reckoned. Ah, my stupefying strength will shatter your own into a million pieces. Well, I'm surprised you can count that high. Your arms are no bigger than fleas that I've met. Fleas that I've met. Ah, so that's why you're scratching. I'd go see a vet. <sighs> Only once have I met such a coward. He must have taught you everything you know. Like got muscles in places you've never even heard of. Uh, why? You studying to be a nurse? Nope. I've out wrestled octopuses with these arms. Something, something. Spineless creatures. Mm, I'm sure that spineless creatures everywhere are humbled by your might. You're the ugliest creature I've ever seen in my life. I'm shocked that you never have gazed at your wife. My stupefying strength will shatter your all into a million pieces. Surprising. I'm surprised you can count that high. I'm gonna put your arm in a sling. I am rubber. Ha -ha. You are glue. Got, got him one. <laughs> Do I see quivers of agony dance on your lip? Oh, how appropriate. You find like a one. cow. Ah! Yeah, I won! Ah. 
you did. Fair and square. Congratulations. You got yourself a navigator. Is that the ship? It doesn't look very seaworthy. At least it doesn't smell like monkeys. Are you guys ready to go? I can. Whatever. No. Don't make me slap you, Otis. Fine. Let's get this over with. Then we're off to Luger Island in search of high adventure and a legally binding restraining order. It'll all end in tears. Mark my words. Mr. Cheese, shouldn't we steer away from those dark, portentous clouds? Nonsense, Captain. A little rain never hurt anyone. <laughs> Why? Mommy! Button down Leap for the silence. Run. Short and sail! Clear the scuppers! The Get your hands off me! Sorry, baby. There you go, Mr. Marley. Lucre Island. Ah, Lucre Town. The largest urban center in the Tri Island area. Thanks, Mr. Cheese. Uh, next time you think we can get here with a little less drama? Oh, no. There's not going to be a next time, is there? Better not be. Once was enough. Okay, I'm going into town. You guys stay here and watch the ship. Oh, sure. I see how it is. The captain gets to make all the decisions. Hi. <laughs> I like Otis's voice. Somebody's selling fish over here. It makes me laugh. Damn it! There's a duckling on this. Must be the duck standard. Bait shop. Hey, can I talk to you? No? Can I talk to this duck? Ah, there's nothing like the smell of buckets upon buckets of rotting fish in the morning sun. Uh, no. I should go to the law offices before I get some bait. Okay. Jeez. I should go to the law offices before I go in there. Not Hall of Justice? I guess that's where you go when you get justice. House of Sticks, Sense and Sensibilities. Damn it! You were walking straight, you putz! Law office. Yes. Yes, yeah, superheroes in there? Yeah, Justice League. Um, excuse me, is this? Come in. Come in. Come in. What can we do for you? I was told you guys could help me. Of course we can. What is it, wrongful dismemberment? Hit and run dinghy accident? Hurt your back while pillaging another ship? Uh, no. I need you to see if you can save my house from being destroyed. That doesn't sound very prestigious. Lucrative. Did I mention that my house is the governor's mansion on Melee Island? Governor's mansion, you say? Well, I recognize that, that guy. changes things. Nice Hello. use of the TM. But you can't be the governor. I'm here representing the Honorable Elaine Marley Threepwood, governor of the Tri Island area. She's my wife. Oh, I get it. He's joking about the wife thing. And people think lawyers have no sense of humor. You know, it's illegal to make that wrongful and preposterous claim. Should we sue him? How much money do you think he has? I'm serious. We just got back from our honeymoon. Three glorious months on the high seas. And return to find the mansion under siege by a dastardly demolitionist. Is this alleged demolitionist wealthy? Hmm, yes, we could sue them. Put a lien on their catapult. File a writ of habeas money. Wouldn't you rather go after the big bucks? If Elaine wins the election, she'll be a powerful person. And if the mansion is saved, she'll have someone to thank. And if that someone is you... We would be given a lot of money? Er... Uh, not given. Think outside the juror's box, my esteemed colleagues. We could become the official lawyers for the Tri-Island area. Yes, the preferred legal team of the governor's office. What do you need from us, young fellow? I don't know. You handle Grandpa Marley's estate, right? Right. 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 Did he have a plan for such a crisis? Nope. 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 But we'll get right on it. Right. Right. Okay, I'll wait. Actually, this may take a while. Legal issues can be quite complicated. And take a lot of research. Isn't there something else you could do for a while? See the island. Take in the sight. Um, I guess so. Oh, hey. You might as well take this. What is it? It's a letter from Grandpa Marley. It was supposed to be delivered after his granddaughter got married.
This will save us a trip. Now be gone. We have work to do. Can Micah, can you look up the voice actors of the the lawyer people? I think I recognize the third one. But I don't know. Let's see what it says. <clears throat> My dearest Elaine, if you are reading this, then you are married and I am dead. Now that you've finally settled down with a fearless pirate husband, it's time for you to claim the final pieces of your family's heritage. At the Luker Island Municipal Bank, you'll find a safe deposit chest under my name. Oh. Among other things, the chest contains the deed to the Marley Mansion. Never lose sight of this deed. Furthermore, the chest also contains my wedding gifts to you. I'm sorry that I was unable to deliver them in person, but I go to my grave confident that you've chosen a man I would be proud to call grandson. Lastly, and most importantly, the chest contains the keys to the most terrifying secret in the Caribbean. A secret ten oh, times Tom Kenny? as terrifying Damn. as Big Whoop? The secret of the ultimate insult. Yikes. If the unholy power of the ultimate insult ever found its way into the wrong hands, there's no telling what sorts of hex spawn mischief could be unleashed upon our fun-loving pirate citizens. Guard these secrets with your life, and know that no matter where you are, your grandfather is watching over you. With all my love, Horatio Tokamata Marley. How sweet. Uh, P.S. If your deadbeat parents come around looking for a handout, tell them to take a long walk off a short gangplank. <laughs> so, I don't... Uh... I wonder... I wonder what I'm recognizing that voice from. Like, I, yes, it's Tom Kenny, but I think he's done it somewhere else. That's very similar. Okay, where am I going? What is this? Oh, the bank. Good, that's where I want to go. And just why not, young lady? Bank policy, sir. I can't convert these traveler's checks because we've never heard of, uh, what's his name? Australia. But you've honored them countless times before. We've had a bad run of counterfeit money come through here lately, so we've had to tighten our policy. And if you ask me, these don't look real. <laughs> Besides the funny name, there's a picture of a strange animal on here that has another one popping out of its belly. That's a kangaroo, you ignorant pirate trollop. <laughs> See? There you go. Kangaroo. Another funny name. Funny to say, too. Kangaroo. <laughs> kangaroo. <laughs> oh, truth. I've got business to attend to, but I'll come back, and when I do, I want these honored. Have a nice day, Mr. Mandrill. He should switch to decaf. I could have the wrong lawyer, I guess. There are three of them. Uh, it's Maria Bamford? Awesome. <laughs> I, I think it's pretty likely that I've heard Tom Kenny do something. You know, he's probably the most recognizable. Of, I mean, I don't know what the other two are, but... He's recognizable. Hi there. Welcome to the second bank of Lucre. I'm Brittany. How may I help you? What happened to the first bank of Lucre? Nothing. It was our public relations department's idea. They felt that being called the first bank didn't project an image of experience. <laughs> That's fair. I'd like to retrieve some items from my safe deposit box. Fine, sir. And whose name is it under? Marley. H.T. Marley. And here's a letter that might help. I see. This is for Governor Marley. Do you have power of attorney to act on her behalf? I'm her dashing husband. <laughs> Not good enough. Oh. Well, Gubernatorial there's thing. this. There you go. Oh, my. <laughs> that will be fine, sir. Just a moment, Mr. Quidworth. There's a gentleman here to use the vault. Hmm, yes? Hmm? Well, everything seems to be in order, Mr. Marley. That's Mr. Threefoot. As you wish, sir. If you'll just follow me into the vault, we can open up your grandfather in law's safe deposit chest. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Here it is, sir. The safe deposit chest of H.T. Marley, just as he left it over 20 years ago. Wow, what an amazing collection of junk. 
Why would Grandpa Marley store garbage like this in a bank? That Governor Marley was an eccentric old salt, wasn't he? <laughs> you know, we were all crushed when he disappeared off the face of the earth like he did. Anyway, well, I've got some loans to turn down. You just let me know when you're done here, and I'll come running. Gee, thanks. Well, I guess I better start looking for that deed to the governor's mansion so I can get home to Elaine. Let's see now. Hot water bottle, monkey pacifier, uh, grogamon, polygon count, Jimmy Hoffa, do-it-yourself tattoo kit, bloody stiletto knife, bottomless mug. Well, you really should have called me first. We have rules about leaving the vault unattended. Gee, I'm sorry. And I'll see if I can is that me? Is that... Wax yeah, is this is a move my face. Ah, there it is. Stick him up. Jake, who are you supposed to be? Isn't it obvious? I've Guybrush Threepwood. No, you're not. Well, what makes you say that? Well, for one thing, Guybrush is much better looking than you are. <laughs> and for another, the real Guybrush doesn't smell like anchovy halitosis. Ooh. All right, mate, bucko. That's enough of that. Fuck away from the Barney heirlooms and be quick about it. Now, Mr. Threepwood, take a good long look at the last place you'll ever see. <laughs> I knew that deregulated banking would lead to this. Must up. Oh my god, go around. Guybrush Threepwood, coppers! You fucker. Phew, this thing reeks. Oh, what was under it? Hopper it's a small packing ball. sponge. It's a small packing sponge. Get me, Guybrush Threepwood, coppers! Don't know why I need those, but okay. There's only one criminal more nefarious than me, and that's Pinto's Pete! There seems to be something inside. It's a music box. Hey, there's a bottle of fine grog behind this music box. Huzzah. It's an empty safe. Okay, good. Are you being framed for robbing yourself? I don't know. Letter, sword. What does this music box do? I died rush three boat. Nothing useful now. If I could open it, I wouldn't be trapped in here. That's G U Y B I U S H T H I E But I broke the sword too. That didn't get me anywhere. The sword seems to be widening the crack a bit. With the sword jammed in there, the gap is larger. Just send out the hostages, and I'll see what I can do for you. I can't ah! remove it with my bare hands. Seems like not a good thing to use. And Elaine would probably kill me if I went around misusing this. Sure, sure. I don't think a bottle of grog will do, but whatever. I can't reach it. If I could open it, I wouldn't be trapped in here. Yes, I know, Guybrush. With the sword jammed in there, the gap is larger. Well, what am I doing? <laughs> you have a music box in it. <laughs> no. Sponges. I don't know what that did. There are dry sponges stuffed in the door jam. 
Just send out the hostages, and I'll see what I can do for you. I can't remove it with my bare hands. Putting all the sponges in there? Sure. I don't know. It works, but I don't know why. Nobody move! There are dry sponges stuffed in the door jam. Uh, are we making them bigger with grog? Down on the floor! I'm free! So long, suckers! And remember, you've just been robbed by Guybrush Freakward! <laughs> hey! Where'd he go? Hey, what's all the commotion? Get there him! He ah! There he is! You're under arrest, Mr. Threepwood. Right. Down to the jailhouse with you. All right, you. Didn't your mum ever explain that bank robbery isn't nice? Yeah, what is he was the no-nose bandit. Right. No-nose bandit. Or perhaps it was the guy we caught red-handed. You! Although we haven't found the loot yet. You'll find it with the real robber. So let me go and get cracking. Detective work isn't my job. If you want to clear your name, you've got a few things to do. Okay, what? I need the perpetrator, I need proof he was at the scene of the crime, and I need proof that he committed the crime. You know, it'd be a lot easier if I could just bribe you. I'll <laughs> ignore that, Treepwood. Around here, we do things by the book. Now, since this is your first offense, you'll be placed under house arrest. I get to go back to the mansion and play with Timmy? No. You are confined to Luca Island. You are not permitted to leave until and unless you are cleared of the crime of bank robbery. To make sure you don't leave, you are required to wear the voodoo anklet of extreme discomfort. <laughs> I was wondering about that. It's rather uncomfortable. Can you loosen it? Well, that wouldn't be the point then, would it? It gets a lot more uncomfortable if you try to leave the island. <sighs> At least I'm not in jail. Hey, I should bring Meat Hook here. He'd like this place. Ew, greasy. I guess they use it on these Iron Maiden spikes to allow smooth impaling. Smooth impaling? Seems like I need some chicken grease. Now there's a manly pirate. Iron what? Oh, Iron Maiden. Otis, what are you doing here? I'm a victim of society. Let me guess. You were framed, right? How did you know? Eh, just a hunch. Some old guy with a weird accent accused me of stealing flowers from his front yard. What is it with you and flowers? It's a plot, I tell you. People are to make me seem less fearsome and piratey by accusing me of being the kind of pirate who likes to pick flowers. If it's any comfort, Otis, I never found you all that fearsome to begin with. Ah, uh, go pick a pack of pussies. Pick a pack of pussies. When are you due to be released? He'll be released just about the same time you prove your... <laughs> innocence. Hey, just because my captain is a notorious bank robber, there's no reason to take it out on me. Otis! Jay? You're not helping. I'm feeling an incredible feeling of deja vu. Would it help if I gave you a breath mint? Wait, it's passed. See you later, Otis. You're gonna get me out of here, right? Okay, more things to do. Who's this lady? Oh, it's the bank lady. Why, hello there, Brittany. Oh, hello there, Brittany. hi! Why do you sound like a sick kraken? Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry. Sorry you lost your job. Oh, it's all right. I didn't like working at that bank much anyway. I've always really wanted to be in show business. <laughs> what kind of show business? I want to be a singer and have my own backup dancers. I don't have any skills or experience, but I figure with the right <laughs> attitude, there's no stopping me. <laughs> Me too. Maybe we could start an act together. Mm, I don't think so. I'm looking for someone a little more... Piratey? Mm, cool. 
Then why were you wasting away at the bank? I was making ends meet while I put my act together. Guess I needed the push. I was getting too wrapped up in the whole financial system thing. <laughs> Hope that works out for you. Is it too late to open an account? You're funny, Mr. Threepwood. <laughs> the bank is no concern of mine anymore. Well, I have manly things to do in a sensitive way. <laughs> a sensitive Bye. way. <laughs> That's a very aesthetically pleasing fountain, I think. Go talk to this guy. Hey, stop that. <clears throat> Welcome to Sense and Sensibilities where subtle fragrances from exotic lands transport you to worlds of romance and delight. My name is Hugo, and I am a licensed aromatherapist. Can Hugo interest you in one of our fine perfumes, colognes, or the shaves? Aren't you a little piratey for a perfume salesman? Hugo's not a pirate. Hugo's a model citizen making a positive economic contribution to the economic well-being of Luca Island. Uh-huh. I think Hugo's been brainwashed. You wouldn't happen to have seen a no-nosed pirate run by here with a sack of loot, would you? No, but Hugo did see you run by here with a sack of loot. When I ran by here with a sack of loot, which way was I going? Towards the deepest forests of Luca Island. Thanks. Hugo is in witness protection. What's that ungodly stench you've been exposing to unsuspecting passers-by? That's our featured fragrance, Eau de la Chuck. Who'd yeah. want to smell like La Chuck? Oh, it's very popular among tourists wanting to capture that authentic swashbuckling mystique. But La Chuck smelled like a rotting corpse. We prefer to refer to it as earthy. Earthy. Smell you later. Thank you for your patronage. Please come again. A chunk, a chuck funk. Look at laundry. I thought that laundry got hung up after it was cleaned. And that laundry's not my size. Nice hatchet. I'm not picking that up. Why not? Look at that short house. Whoever lives here must be pretty small. Can I not go in? Oh my god, these controls. I hate them. I hate them with every fiber of my being. Did you get the cologne? I didn't. It's a barrel of sticks. Freddy, where's my new walking stick? It's right over here, Mr. Mandrill. A brand new cane, hand carved to the exact specifications of your previous stick. It better be, or I'll buy up your putrid little shop and replace it with something useful, like a public urinal. I uh, take it that you'll be putting this on your tab, Mr. Mandrill? What do you think? What a turd. You know, if I weren't a peaceable sort, I'd whack that gentleman over the head with one of my sticks. I wouldn't stop whacking until his brains leaked out all over my rustic, hand-polished hardwood floor. <laughs> yep. But you're a peaceable sort, right? Yep. <laughs> yep. I got gruesome. If I had a hamster, I could use this stuff for bedding. Right there, but I'm wondering about. No need to make a racket ringing that bell. I'm right here. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. What's your racket? Most people around here call me Freddy, which is a sensible thing to do, considering that it's my name and all. I carve walking sticks. I wouldn't think that a walking stick shop could support itself on a pirate-infested island. Well, under normal circumstances, I might agree with that sentiment. But lately, Luker Island's been experiencing an influx of tourists, gawkers, and other assorted outsiders. They're always more than eager to purchase my authentic pirate walking sticks at a reasonable markup, of 
course. Besides which, I can always depend on Mr. Mandrel to break a few dozen sticks a week. He's been single-handedly keeping me in business for months. This is a turd. You wouldn't happen to know anything about a no-nosed pirate, would you? Well, now, that sounds a lot like peg Nose Pete. What would you like to know about him? Who is he? Peg Nose? He's the greatest pirate thief on Lucar Island. No one's come within a ship's broadside of putting him in leg irons yet, but I came close once. No. Yes. It happened one dark, foggy night. Many years ago, I was out testing out one of my new walking stick models, the WD-32. It has a real fancy looking wood duck engraved in the handle, and he tried to mug me. Gosh, what did you do? Well, I wasn't gonna stand for that. I raised my cane up to give him a good whack on the noggin, you betcha. And? And he ran away. I didn't get a chance to swing. <laughs> I guess he knows better than to mess with old Freddy. Yep, fascinating. Where can I find him? You can't. Come again? No one knows where Peg Nose's hideout is. Oh, sure. There's some rumors of him living in the middle of the treacherous mists o time marsh. But frankly, I, I don't believe a human being can get there from here. What happened to his nose? That's something of a mystery. Most folks around these parts would tell you it was nibbled off by a duck. Yeah. Personally, I don't believe it. Why not? Well, sir, it's been my experience that ducks have exceptionally tiny teeth. It'd take a long time for a duck, even a particularly nasty duck, to nibble off a man's nose. I can't imagine <laughs> a man fair. letting a duck peck away at his nose for hours on end without seeking medical help. Good point. On second thought, I think I'll find out about Pegno's on my own. Makes no never mind to me, Junior. Uh, can you help me? I can't decide which walking stick is right for me. Well, now, in order to choose the right stick, we'll need to know a little about your walking stick needs. Where do you expect to be doing most of your walking? Sure. Amidst dense Caribbean jungles. Ah, the adventurous type. And how many people would you expect to be walking with? I'll probably be by myself. I sort of figured that might be the case. How long will you be walking on average? <laughs> Eight hours. About a half hour. 45 minutes tops. Hmm, I see. Well then, taking all your answers into consideration, not to mention the numerous personal observations I've made of your movements, I believe that the perfect walking stick for you would be the Veeblefester 9000 Rainforest Deluxe. As luck would have it, we've got dozens of them in stock. Stick it's Freddy's stick catalog. Why would I want to look through the catalog when I've got the real thing right here? It's Freddy's stick catalog. Why would I want to look through the catalog when I've got the real thing right here? Where's my Veeble Master? I don't think I need it, but oh, there's an abacus. Have that. This must be Freddy's calculator. Pirates don't need calculators. Besides, it's not yours to take, Sonny. It is very important to choose a walking stick that fits your body, lifestyle, and temperament. Your walking stick should be no more than waist high and hefty enough to support 50% of your body weight. Active people should choose a stick that corresponds with the type of activity. Boring. I guess I don't want a walking stick that bad. There's something else over here. Maybe not. These sticks look perfectly fine to me. To the untrained eye, they might. Those sticks didn't pass our rigid quality assurance process. There's so many to choose from. I can't decide. I'll go see if I can pick up a cologne. Perfume has a neat stripe running through it. Oh, that's new candy cane perfume. It smells nice and it's edible. Um, no. Looks too exotic to me. I don't think so. That one scares me. Heck no! I'm a tough pirate man. I'm a it tough does smell nice man. though. Uh, no thanks. Oh, there's bottles over here. Hey, stop that! 
just need spritzers. I'll just take one. Law office. What's here here? Oh, leave Lucre Town. No, I don't want to do that. Hey there, money bags. Very funny, Mr. Threepwood. Are you enjoying the money you stole? Hey, I'm innocent. Yes, right. And I'm a 20 carat brooch. It was the no-nosed man. Well, I wish I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. Of course, I used to. Until you came along, that is. Have you seen someone go by here carrying a bag of loot? What does he look like? Sort of like me. Yes, I've seen him. But he didn't have a bag with him. Really? Where? I'm looking at him! <laughs> when are you gonna reopen the bank? Inspector Canard won't let me inside. So even if I could afford to reopen it, I'm not allowed. Why aren't you allowed inside? The inspector says that it's a crime scene and needs to remain sealed until the case is closed. Let's break in. Unlike you, I respect yeah. authority and law. No one will enter the bank until the crime is solved. Yeah, fugitive joke. One-armed man. Then why are you hanging around here? You look kind of suspicious to me. I didn't rob the bank, if that's what you're insinuating. I don't know. Most robberies are inside jobs. Maybe. But all criminals return to the scene of the crime. And here you are. Let's talk about something else. Uh, I hear my parole officer calling. See you later. This bank sure has a lot of windows. House of prostheses. Creepy. Welcome Basket to the of Palace of Prostheses, home of the no Looks detection, so no infection, no rejection, 30-day guarantee. You smell new. Who are you? You smell new. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Well, you don't smell so mighty to me. What? In fact, you smell kind of flowery. What? Heck, I can smell your lilacs and lilies aftershave even through my stuffy nose. Wow. You're good. Well, I'm Dave. Around here, they call me Dead Eye Dave. I'm the Tri Island area's foremost expert in anatomical approximation. So, how's the prosthetics business? Mm, it's been better. Let me guess an Australian land developer is using strong arm tactics to try and buy up your business. What? Where'd you get a weird idea like that? Well, I just figured. Well, you figured wrong. Australia, what kind of a name is that anyway? Never mind. So what is wrong with your business? My monkey left me. Your monkey? And you're so despondent over your loss that you can't focus on your work, right? Despondent? Over Pongo? Oh, don't be silly. Then why was he so important? Because Pongo handled all my paperwork and deliveries. He was the only one who understood my back office's automated filomatic filing system. Without him, I have no idea which orders go with which customers. It's really upsetting my regular clientele. That's terrible. Have you heard from your filing list? Called? Uh... <laughs> Not to be insensitive, but are you blind? Not to be insensitive, but are you blind? Do I look blind? I don't know. The twin eye patches could be some sort of hip new pirate fashion statement. Of course I'm blind, you lilac scented party waste! Sorry. <laughs> don't give it a second thought. My other senses more than compensate for my lack of sight. For example, I usually can identify my customers by their distinctive individual odors. You can recognize people by their smell? Usually, no problem. Today, though, my nose is stuffed up because I got a, a bit of a cold. So I can only recognize amplified odors, like the lilac aftershave you generously applied to your face. Fortunately, my hearing's still sharper than a barge full of bunnies. 
So how sharp is your hearing anyway, Bonnie? Sharpen up, Pinky. I'm looking for some gifts for my differently abled pirate friends. Then you've come to the right place. What kinds of prostheses did you have in mind? Frankly, I'm in the market for a prosthetic nose. Sorry, we're fresh out. It's shocking how quickly my regular customers blow through those things. <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. What have you got that's free? Free? <laughs> what do you think I'm running? A charity? What can I say? I'm broke. <sighs> okay, you've appealed to my sense of generosity. Here's what I'll do. I'll let you have one of my untested, unguaranteed, unapproved experimental prosthetic devices. Oh boy. Neat. What kind of prosthetic devices are we talking about? I'll let you choose through a story. Huh? Humor me. Once upon a time, there was a pirate named... Larry? Larry. Larry wanted to win the hand of a fair maiden named... Mindy? Mindy. Sadly, Mindy's finger was already wearing the engagement ring of a bounder named... Fred? Yeah, Fred. Well? Well, what? What happened? After many years of plotting, she became head of all the families and had them both whacked. The end. What a dreadful story. I know. Here's your free experimental prosthesis. What is it? That's a prototype for my own dead-eye deluxe prosthetic head. It's for pirates who've lost so many ears, eyes, and noses that they prefer to start all over <laughs> with a brand new head. How do you plan on duplicating the intricate thought process of the pirate brain? I plan on fixing that in my first patch release. Uh, yeah. I'm looking for a no-nosed pirate thief. Well, we certainly get a lot of those around here. Thieves? N no, no-nosed pirates. Really? Oh, my, yes. You'd be amazed how often pirates lose their honkers. Does this pirate thief of yours have a name? Not that I know of. Oh, that's too bad. Of Pick course, even if I knew the pirate's name, it probably wouldn't matter. Without Pongo, I wouldn't be able to retrieve your pirate's file. See you later. That makes one of us. Some sort of document. The name on it says, Karin H. Esterhaus. It has all sorts of useless information, such as prosthetic prescriptions, address, phone number, allergies. We need to get the monkey back. I haven't seen so many pointy things in one place since my last dental checkup. Sticking my hand into a basket full of hooks seems like a recipe for disaster. Fair, fair. of sticks, perfume guy, bait shop. Phew! It smells like dead fish in here. Nine kinds of dead fish, huh? Excuse me. Yes? What? Do you have any bait that could catch a cold? No. Do you have any bait that could catch a tiger by the tail? No. How's the bait business? Uh, it stinks. <laughs> You're telling me. P.U. No, I mean it's horrible. I bet business would pick up if you crack open a window every now and then. Why, I tried that. Well, did it help? No. In fact, 
It seemed to drive prospective customers away. And that's when I realized, see, that something strange is going on here. Strange? How so? Well, it may be the chum talking, but I could swear that Luca Island is getting less and less pirate friendly. Eh? Really? How? Why, we've been besieged by hostile invaders? Weiss! Tourists! Tourists. Ah. Yikes. There aren't many of them around today, but you hang around for a week and they'll pop up like a bloated corpse in a calm sea. Why, they, they've been driving some of Luca's oldest pirate oriented businesses? into new fields and have compelled some of our nastier pirates to consider new lifestyle choices. Huh? Why, I myself have soiled my once noble bait shop with a cheesy Thymite Psychus in a desperate attempt to get me hands on some of those tourist shekels. Well, is it working? Not very well. Insects seem to repel tourists almost as much as fish guts. Go figure. <laughs> Do you have any bait that could catch a thief? No! Do you know anything about a no-nosed pirate thief? Yeah. Well, that sounds like peg -nosed Pete. You know him? Are you kidding? Everyone on Lucar Island is hide a peg -nosed Pete. Where can I find him? But you can't. Nobody can. There's rumor that his hideout is somewhere in the heart of the mists of time marsh. Great. I'm off to the marsh. But no one has ever been able to navigate their way through the marsh without getting hopelessly lost. It's Koist! Darn. Koist! Another curse. How did he lose his nose? Oh, that's one of the darkest mysteries of Luca Island. Uh, some would have you believe that Peg Nose's proud proboscis was pecked off by a duck. But I believe it was a school of deranged flounder that made off with his hunker. Mm -hmm. That's one of the darkest mysteries of Luker Island? No, no. But it sounds more ominous that way. Uh, let's talk about something else. I've never no, heard the word skins so many of salmon. Times in one hour. I think I'll just look around for a while. Well, you look all you like, but if you break it, you'll board it. The concept of bait shop caviar scares me. It should. Mm, I'd have no use for it. I can never seem to bring myself around to stabbing poor defenseless little worms with hooks. You can use a... Wee, look at the cute little termite circus. It's just like a flea circus, but with termites. That was exciting. That was exciting. Please leave the termites alone. They're a very temperamental group of performers, you know, and they must not be disturbed. Oh, sorry. What's in this? It's a large, stinky vat of free bait, marinating in bait juice. That's gross. The bait in your pants. I'd rather not. Okay. Uh, no thanks. I try to keep the number of large, pointy things in my pants to an absolute minimum. the duck. <laughs> okay. Mr. Cheese. Ahoy there, Mr. Cheese. Yes. I haven't offset my lilac scent yet. I should probably go back to the perfume guy and make me smell piratey. How's the ship? Uh, when will she be ready for departure? She'll be ready long before you get that voodoo anklet removed. Oh yeah, <laughs> that. Two shakes of a monkey's tail. Uh, actually, I don't like to talk about it. Oh, I can see why. Well, uh, okay then. Keep the ship, uh, ship shape while I'm gone. Although I did get spritzed by that guy. 
Is that the reason I'm lilac -y? Get him away! Oh my god. No, don't go in there. You fun of some of a bitch. Tourists! Tourists wronged me! Cannot get out of door. Worst controls. Welcome to hey, Sense and it. Sensibilities, where subtle... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can Hugo interest you in one of our fine perfumes, colognies, or aftershaves? Oh, Dilla Chuck's really that popular? Oh, yes, sir. In the last few hours, Hugo's gone through dozens of sample bottles. But you are just spraying them on people. Love you later. Thank you for your patronage. Please come again. Uh. Phew, this stuff smells bad, even for a pirate. Oh, you could get that one. Thought I tried to pick up everything. Do I stink now? Will it matter? I don't think it'll matter. I need a monkey. There's more things, I'm sure. Dave? Yes. You can recognize people by their smell? Usually no problem. Today, though, my nose is stuffed up because I got a, a bit of a cold. So I can only recognize amplified odors, like the lilac aftershave oh. you generously applied to your face. Fortunately, my hearing's still sharper than a barge full of bunnies. Barge full of bunnies. See you later. That makes one of us. What if I spray it on him? Dang, that's some weird smelling stuff you sprayed at me. Hi. <laughs> I don't know what that does. Dave? Yes. Yeah, See you later. That okay. makes one of us. We're gonna have to spray something at him, but I don't know why. Let's see what that other thing is on the map. And then that's probably it for today. Son of a bitch. Hmm, foreboding. Get in trouble like Otis. Hey, who are you? And what are you doing in my house? Trapesin. Monkey Wrangler. Gabriel's three foot. Monkey Wrangler. You can't fool me, Mr. Threepwood. It's common knowledge that there aren't any monkeys in the Caribbean. I think you're a scungy pirate. My name is Ozzy. Ozzy Mandrill. That name sounds familiar. You're master of the pan flute. You're the master of the pan flute, right? Don't play the gink with me, Threepwood. Who's playing? Well then, allow me to illuminate the dingy corners of your mind. Ozzy Mandrill is a businessman, a capitalist, a real estate developer. I'm also the future king of the Caribbean. <laughs> mm, hey, you're gonna... the guy who's trying to buy out the scum bar. The scum bar? That's just the tip of the yard, Bark. I'm gonna buy the whole Caribbean. Why are you buying up all the land in the Caribbean? Because I'm a man with a vision. You too? 
What are yours like? I see a Caribbean free from the chaotic plundering of grog-swilling pirates. A Caribbean made safe for the orderly consumerism of family-oriented themed restaurants and resorts. A Caribbean scrub clean of filth. A Caribbean you'd be proud to take home to your mother. Gee, mine are mostly about ice cream. Mmm, ice cream. And how do all my pirate friends fit into your capitalist utopia? Ah, oh, they'll be retrained. Retrained? Yes, the service-based economies of tomorrow's Caribbean will need legions of waiters, janitors, maids, and dishwashers. <laughs> but what about pirates who don't want to be waiters, janitors, and dishwashers? What makes you think they'll have a choice? <laughs> Evil. And how do the dozens of pirate support industries fit into your scheme? They'll be torn down, of course. No more will these islands be cursed with a blight of run-down watering holes, murky voodoo shops, and disease-ridden houses of ill repute. Instead, our streets will be decorated with classy art houses, whimsical theme restaurants, and upscale knick-knack shops. <laughs> But what about the stores that won't sell out? Ah, oh, they always sell out. Eventually. <laughs> what about the children? But what about the children? What about them? I don't know. Just thought I'd ask. What would someone think of the children? I'm tired of discussing your warped dreams. And I'm tired of discussing them. What's your beef with pirates? Well, for one thing, pirate smell. The only thing that smells worse than a pirate it's two pirates. It's enough to make a man park a tiger on the rug. Uh, yeah, right. Is there anything else you hate about pirates? Not much. Oh? Other than the fact that they're an uncouth subculture of illiterate yobbos who make it impossible for a hard-working businessman to earn an honest quid without worrying about being sacked and or pillaged. Not much, really. Ah. What's with all the dead animals? I like having them around. They remind me of where I came from. Burbank? Australia, Burbank. you ninny. Oh. My navigator tells me that you're pretty good with an insult. Pretty good? Listen, Kitty Wink, I'll have you know that my insults have finished off over 500 hostile takeovers. There isn't a man alive or dead who can withstand the might of my withering barbs. I bet I can beat you. Oh, uh, really? And what stakes do you propose? Uh, give me money. If I win, you have to give me a million pieces of eight, or maybe eight million pieces of one. Fine. And if I win, you have to leave my house. Agreed. So, what form of insult game shall we play? Let's stick to the basics, shall we? On guard. Touche. Oh, that is so cliche. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Bugger off that bull of my kinka. What? I have no idea what you just said, yet I feel strangely insulted. When I'm done with you, you'll wish you had Baku, right? I'm a what? What, what, a what, what? I'm what, what, a what, what? I've seen better from a bludger. <laughs> well, did you redo to you too? Trouble. Ha <laughs> ha! Too many Australian was. words. Naturally. Now get out of my house. Alright. I think that's it for this evening. Gonna save my game. Fucking guy. Thank you for joining me. I will be back tomorrow. Ah. Did I turn everything off? There we go. Thank you.